hello everyone welcome once again into my channel you are a little blurry right now <laughs> i don't have my glasses on i i tried to get contacts but it's driving me crazy so anyway uh today's tutorial is uh the cross the beaded cross so the last uh, video i had was showing you the crosses that I got from the Philippines and I tried to figure out a simple tutorial for it one that is easy for you to follow so here it is this is what I came up with uh, you will be using a fishing line so what I use with this is the fishing line uh, the other crosses that I made I use supple max uh, which is a monofilament string, but in case you don't have that because that's being sold only at the craft stores, use a fishing line and it will just be uh, the same as that, more or less. Uh, they call it monofilament string and this is fishing line and it's the eight pound test. I got this from Walmart for like $1.79 and the eight pound test is close to in diameter to the one that I was using, which is a 0.10, this is a 0.11. So let me uh, show you the rest of our materials and let's start making the crosses. So let's go over the materials with you. You need the eight O seed beads. Uh, I have two colors here. Uh, in this ones, I use silver and gold, and um, this will make the bail so you can put through your chain, your leather cord, or your key ring. Uh, you also need the paper beads. I am using here our 7 millimeter paper beads, but you can also use a uh, bigger. You can also use crystals. In fact, if you go to my Facebook page after this video, I will be posting some that are made out of alien beads or crystals. So um, this uh, idea came from the beaded cube, if, if you remember. In fact, let me grab the bracelet right here. The beaded cube. Because as you can see, if you uh, if you have this three like together like this, this is the body of the cross, as you can see. Okay? Except we will be weaving it so that it's continuous, not like the cubes like this. So um the nice thing about the paper beads, or if you're going to make paper beads for this particular particular project, make them with big holes uh, because you need to pass more than one time your fishing line. Okay, to start, you need to cut from your fishing line um, 40 inches. This will be for the body of the cross. So you need 40 inches. And I would suggest, this is a tip, uh, that you will mark with Sharpie the tips of your fishing line. Otherwise, if it will be hard to see if you're like me and you have poor eyesight it'll be hard for you to see so I'll take a sharpie and kind of just um, do this so this is also for when I be doing the video hopefully because this can come off if you handle it all the time the ink can rub off but more or less um, you have the black tips now so 
first what we need to do is string four beads and crisscross on the last bead okay so you need to string four this is just like the this is just like the beaded cube so it doesn't matter which string you're going to be stringing it on but you need to string four beads so let's do three beads first now pick up one let me choose one green so this way we have a point of reference and you will crisscross on the green bead like so okay and then you will hold the two tips together and bring that green bead down so now it's centered so now you have this that's the start of your cube now put one more on each side one more on each side and then take a third one and then crisscross on that okay on this yellow bead right here and then you pull it down now your piece will look like this so right now you have one two three in the middle right so you need to do one more because to start you need the, the four middle beads to line up right there again one bead on each side I hope you're having fun so far <laughs> and then crisscross on a third bead okay again bring it down I just want to show you the important part I'm not gonna bore you with a whole whole piece but this is kind of important so now if you can see that you have four in the middle now to make this into a cube you will put one on each side and then this time you will crisscross on that red bead right there instead of adding one so that this will form into a circle so let's crisscross on that red bead and then when you pull it now you have your cube you know it is right because you have four here four on each side okay so the red bead right here is now your starting point so that will count as one remember you had the four middle beads this start as one so now you need to put one on each side just showing this uh, the important part 
uh, one on each side take one more and crisscross on this Bear with me. Okay. So, if you can see here, if I turn it around, the red bead is the beginning. You have one, two. You need to do one more. One on each side. This is a project that will kind of test your patience <laughs> because let me take, because it just it's not a quick one and crisscross on this bead that I'm holding the third bead okay now let me turn it around now it looks like this now now you have starting from the red bead you have one two three now your fourth bead you're not gonna add your fourth bead your the fourth middle bead you just need to add one on each side okay one on each side and then you're not gonna add a third one to crisscross your string into. Instead, you will crisscross on that green bead right there. Okay, because that will be like, it will now, we are now forming a cube by let, having this piece turn like that so instead of adding a fourth one we will crisscross on this bead down here so the green bead and you'll see take the other string crisscross so it's now kind of like you have two cubes that you join together right there voila right so now you are this is the beginning of your cross this part right here you have the two cubes joined together now because now your string is in the middle I will just put it through on these two side beads so then we can crisscross on that yellow bead you can do it that way or this way it doesn't matter which direction you're going but I prefer that I go that direction make the your motif stronger so what I'm saying here you will realize it once you start making it you will understand what I'm saying but you have to get into it, you know. Um, I know some of you will say, "Oh, it's hard. I'm not, I'm not crafty. I don't know how to make stuff." But come on, just start doing something, and then everything will just follow. So now we're we're going to crisscross on that yellow bead. So we are. What we're doing here is positioning our strings so that we can start another cube and I show you what I mean in a minute okay so now you position your string you're now here so you can build now on it so if you see here just if you see here let's count the middle bead you have one two three four five six seven so right now we are at one two three so you will build this up until you will reach seven 
then we have completed that middle part or the longer part of the cross. So now I have this uh, length. I have, I'm now uh, making my seventh center bead. So uh, I did that already. I just need to add one more on each side. This is the last one and um, and then we're finished with the middle part of the cross or the main part of the cross. So again, I will uh, put it here on this bead, the green bead that you are seeing. And then don't be scared to manipulate your beads because they will just go back to its shape. So now we have completed. So I am now right here in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put the string like what we do when we are pos positioning our string. like this okay so now you have this part of the cross and I will leave the string like that it will loosen sometimes but I I'll just pull it back because now the next thing that we're gonna be doing is the arms of the cross we will be building this part so it's just also the same thing and it will just be connected in this uh, part here because you see there's one two three four five six seven the arms will be connected here third from the top or fourth from the bottom so now we're going to make the arms of the cross and uh, you need to cut um, also the same length or maybe like 36 inches of the fishing line I don't know if I told you any different earlier, but it should be 36 inches. And uh, I found an easier way to uh, to blacken this thread with a marker. It's just, I just hold it down like that and then pull it instead of doing this. So anyway so now we got that so next thing we need to do and the other thing too is you have this two strings coming out from here right and it will get loosened once in a while so to prevent that from happening because it can be annoying i'll just uh i'll just like hold it with this clip or whatever do you want to call this just do this or not you know depends if I had a smaller one that would be good okay there you go let's try that and you take your string and like I said we will start making the arm on the third bead from the top so I'll take this and you go one two three this red one over here that's where I will put in my string so don't be scared to bend your bend your piece like that or pull up the bead to raise it up a little bit it can be manipulated because it will just go back to its shape so, so now there it is okay so just bring it center so then you will do bring it center it like so it should be this way 
So now you do the same thing. Put one bead on each side. We are building the arm and we connected the string into that bead right there. So we are building it going that way. And then take one bead and crisscross. Okay. I'm just going to show you the whole arm and then you can just figure out the other arm because it will just be exactly the same. So it's like this now. Okay, one more on each side. And we're going to be home free soon. one on each side and then crisscross let's pick out this yellow bead love this bead so much but i'm sure that the crystal would also look amazing so i'm gonna do that tonight because that's what i do i don't sleep i just make stuff one on each side and then we will crisscross on the other on the bead on the other side of the cross so that we can form a cube so as you can see it's like this we will crisscross on one two three that bead right there with a blue stripe okay so let's crisscross on that one. I'm gonna bend bend the piece so it'll be easy. Don't be scared bend, bending your piece. It's totally okay. It's totally allowed. Okay, let's see the other end. Crisscross on that blue stripe bead. Bend it a little bit and then I'm just gonna look for the black thread okay so now you pull it ta -da. now you have that half of an arm okay so let me turn it around so you can see that's actually not blue but black so now it's coming, the threads are coming out from that direction. Let me just fix this. Okay, from that direction. So now it's cube. Now it's a real cube. So now I'm gonna take the string that's coming out from this black bead, put on each side, and then crisscross on that yellow bead right there. So I hope by now you've gotten the hang of this. I know you hate it when I say easy, but it really is easy. Oh, okay, hold on. Red bead, go in there. Okay. Pull, pull up, crisscross on the yellow bead. Okay. And then you need one more cube to make the arm long enough. Right now you have half an arm, okay? We need to add another cube and go back and have your string go out this way and build the other arm. So now we're here we count one, two, three, and we will crisscross so that it curves like that, and that will be that will complete the arm. We will crisscross on that white bead right there. 
This is a really fun project. And to be honest, I made several of this because one of those um, things where it's hard for you to stop making them. Crisscross on the white bead. Okay. And then pull. And there you have it. So you have completed that arm. So what I'm going to do is walk the string through over here and position it in this bead. And I'm just going to show, show that to you, but uh, I'm not going to show you how to make make the other arm because it's just exactly the same as this one. So, but most importantly, because it might be a challenge walking this string to go to that, to go there. Actually, it wasn't a challenge. It, it cooperated. <laughs> so, do the same thing. Walk this thread through the red and the white stripe bead, and then we will crisscross on that white bead also. I don't know why those two white beads are side by side. So sometimes it doesn't go through at one time. One bead at a time is fine. If you get lucky, you get you you would get it to go through so right now it's hard to see the hole right you can just pull it or manipulate it so that uh, so that you can put this string through that hole so i want to show you this part when i struggle sometimes so that will kind of make this cross meaningful when you struggle right because <laughs> that's what it's about life wouldn't be uh, meaningful without the struggle I'm not sure about that I think I would like without the struggle but okay dokie okay there it is but see once uh you get it right, you get this kind of satisfaction. And so cross cross here. Happy Friday, by the way. It was a hundred and ten something today. But I'm not complaining like um what the priest said this morning that we still count ourselves lucky compared to those that were affected by the by Harvey so I don't complain I'm not complaining it was like super hot when I got on the car earlier to drop off some some packages the post office Okay, now we're crisscrossing here. So now you're positioned correctly, right? Now you are in the right space to build out the other arm. So we are about to finish the other arm. Again, crisscross. I'll crisscross on that yellow bead to form the cube. And then we have a completed arm. Sometimes it's tricky. Okay. So you, you see how I ended up in the middle right there? So what I'm going to do is just walk my bead through 
and end it right over here okay so I can just put this string through this red bead for example crisscross on this white bead or just go straight it doesn't matter it's just I just want it to end up over here so we can finish it off okay so let me show that to you how we do this how we finish it off it's just a matter of tying the string. Okay, so now we're also strengthening it at the same time. See, it's done, it's pretty. I'm just going to crisscross here, or yeah, I think sometimes it just goes through. Um, several beads but like I said don't be um, worried and if you bend the piece just to get your string in there it's totally fine okay and then go through here meet up here and then we'll tie it the other thing you need is um, a clear nail polish to kind of um, making sure that the knots will not unravel. So managed to bring the strings there and the right string I will just crisscross I mean I will just put it through the red string I mean the red bead so that this two are meeting up here. This one is coming out from the green and this one is coming out from the red. So it really doesn't matter. It depends on your preference. You can end it anywhere you want. So then you just need to tie a square knot like so. Okay. Tighten it a little bit and I will Put it through this blue bead for example and this other one can also be on the same blue bead if it still fit and then I will just put the knot right there um, a clear clear nail polish just like a drop of it right there make sure that that's going to stay and then you're ready to end it by cutting off your string there you are so now let's make the the bail the bail is not hard okay so this string coming out from here you will string, you will put in. So let's use the, this, I love this blue uh, seed beads because they look like turquoise. Um, for the size of beads that I have, the paper beads that I'm using, I am going to put in 13 of the 80 seed beads. But again, it depends on how big your, you want your bale to be. It can be, it can be 13, but do an odd number because you need one in the middle that this is three, this is seven. I'll show you in a minute. Eight, nine, It's easier holding it. 10, 11, and then two more. 12, 13. 
I thought I had enough uh, string here, it looks like. Yeah, I'm a little bit short, but we'll make it fit. Five, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I will put this bead through the, you know how, on the other side, like an X, okay? So you put 13 beads here, just fix this, and have it go through that bead, okay? And then leave it. Um, here, first you put six, because it will be six and six. It will go through that um, seventh bead so that it's centered, if you know what I'm saying. so. First put six beads, four, five, six, okay. Now you have to count seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the middle here, seven. I'll put the string through there. Okay. And then put another six beads. Two, three, four, five, six. So before I forget, if you like this video, and if you've been watching my video, videos, um, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, right? Okay. So there you have it. So now we have this two string. I am just going to put this one through this bead right here. So again, this two will meet up and that's about it. Let me just, and then tie. Square knot again. The string should have been a little longer. Okay, and then I'm going to end it and I'll just make it go through that bead. But again, it's up to you, your preference. You can you you will be able to tell. It depends on wh where your string string is leaning towards, because that will help when you don't really have to force it, otherwise it will just be uh, hard. Okay, so again, a dab of, of clear, clear nail polish over here, where, where yours not, yes, and I don't care if I put a lot of the nail polish because that can help. Okay, so now for the finish, make sure you don't cut the other string. Ta-da! There's your cross. That's pretty. And it that's the bail. This actually has a bigger bail. And you can put that on a leather cord and wear it as a necklace. So I hope you like this tutorial. It's long, but um, it's worth it, I hope. Thanks for watching.